Hello everyone, this is Scabcat242. So I was unsure if I was going to do a second week of March haul because the, I went to one yard sale, which kind of was kind of a letdown, and I didn't really find a whole lot that one weekend. So I figured I'm just going to combine the two of uh, week two and week three. So everything I you see before you, this was from the previous Saturday, and this is from this current Saturday. So gonna go to this really quick so uh, I went to one yard sale it was a bit of a disappointment for me because I had gotten up early uh, took an hour light road train and then followed by a 20 minute bike ride and little did I know the, the people having to sell had it Friday so everything I was hoping was gonna still be there was already gone so that was a fail so continue that that morning I went to a flea market uh, afterwards and I actually got pretty lucky I found a few things when I went so this one guy had some random stuff so this is what I picked up so he had some games that were just uh, the loose disc only but he was only asking two bucks a piece for these so I got a uh, new Squires on the Wii, uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, Resident Evil 2 Revelations I've been wanting to play this now unfortunately it's a little bit worn as you can see that I'm hoping it plays because I've been really want to play this, but if I do find a better copy, I'll replace it. But for the most part, I have yet to see if this plays or not. Uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica X on the PS2. And I got this really nice little Game Boy case. I got all that for 10 bucks. And the only one that did not play was Zelda. This I tried rebuffing this, and unfortunately that did not play. So that was a letdown on that. And the same flea market, got some random GameCube games. We got Super Monkey Ball and Call of Duty 2, the big red one. Those were like a dollar a piece. Then went to one thrift store afterwards. Got some random games here. We got Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly and GameCube. The Sonic Adventure Battle 2 and Sally, this one did not work, which sucks because I was really looking forward to playing this. And we got Parappa the Rapper 2 and PS2. And Star Wars Battlefront 2. And actually, I think I picked this up at a yard sale for like two bucks. So that was the previous weekend. And this is what I got this recent weekend. So I got a lot of PS2 games. So this was from a thrift store. Uh, got G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra. I actually had this on the Wii, but I had no idea this one on the PS2. And it's complete, so it gives a play. I know the movie was not that great, but I'll see how this game turns out to be. We got Terminator, Dawn of Fate, and again, it's on PS2, and only paid like three bucks for those. And so there's like this little store downtown that's kind of an antique slash dress store. And the stuff changes all the time. So they have a lot of DVDs, and every once in a while there were games there. So they had a sale. I guess everything was a dollar a piece just for this one week. So this is what I picked up. Mostly a lot of PS2 games. So we got here um, Yu Gi Oh! Duels of the Roses, Time Crisis 2, uh, Gundam Force Showdown, another copy of Code, Resident Evil Code Veronica X, which is going to a friend of mine, and The Thing. So all those were a buck a piece, so I was pretty happy about that. And another thrift store we went to that was same, I think, Saturday. So mostly some more PS2 games. So we got here. Um, Silent Hill 2, The Simpsons game, Devil May Cry, Dead On, Dead On Xbox 360, Final Fantasy 12, and Wipeout 3 on the Wii U. I've been slowly been seeing Wii U games showing up at thrift stores. I've yet to see them at yard sales, but it's pretty cool. Like actually, it got for a dollar fifty, and I think all the rest I paid about maybe between two to three dollars a piece on those. So, yeah, that's my little game haul for the last couple of weeks. I'm hoping to go to some better yard sales. Uh, this past weekend, there wasn't really a whole lot going on. The weather was kind of iffy. That wasn't raining, it was just overcast. And plus, St. Patrick's Day weekend just kind of makes people not want to have yard sales. So, hopefully, I'll have better luck uh, going to yard sales. Because this is all just thrift stores and, of course, flea market finds. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with what I picked up. So, hope you enjoyed watching and stay tuned for more pickups.